Hi friends! Recently I just decided to design a digital FM receiver using an Arduino Nano board. So what you see on the table is the outcome. Now what I'm gonna do is to take the board and show it up closely. You can see the push buttons, LCD, potentiometer and the connectors. If I show you the bottom side, this is the Arduino uh, pin headers receiver module, amplifier, and other components. Now let me show you how it works. I should mount this Arduino Nano board on the pin headers and connect the antenna. This is a UFL connection and this side goes directly to the antenna. it up and the power should be connected to the first connector at this stage I will not connect the uh, speakers to the board just I want to show you the basic operation let me focus the camera all right you can see the frequency starts at 76 megahertz the bar graph in the second row of the LCD shows the signal strength and MN indicates if the sound is mono and SD indicates if the sound is stereo so let me find one station manually or automatically by pressing the scan button uh, so you have both options you can increase or decrease the frequency by up and down buttons or just press the scan button to find the station so as you see at 90 MHz we have a powerful station and the bar graph is full and the voice is mono. Interesting isn't it? This is a useful project for many situations. In the next step I will talk about the schematic and PCB. Just stay tuned. Alright, this is the schematic diagram of the device. I have explained the schematic in more details in the article, so please just check the article link in the video description. This is the PCB layout of the device. It is a two layers PCB board and majority of components are SMD. However, the smallest package size is 805, so you would not have any problem with soldering the components. In all of my PCB designing projects, including this one, I use the Symaxis component libraries. What I mean by the component library is the schematic symbol, PCB footprint and the 3D model. Interestingly, all Symaxis component libraries are free and they do follow industrial IPC footprint standards. I use Altium Designer, so I prefer to install the libraries using the Symaxis Altium plugin. However, as you see in the picture, similar plugins have been also provided for the majority of other CAD software, such as Eagle, KiCad, Allegro, EasyEDA, and others. Okay, this picture shows the PCB boards that have been fabricated by the PCBWay company. You can get 10 boards for just $5 with this high quality. As it is clear in the picture, the quality of the solder mask, silk screen and the uh, uh, copper tracks are just perfect. The component search engine.com is a place where you can download the component libraries or simply purchase them from the known distributors. For instance, let's search for PAM8403 amplifier chip. Let's press the search button and this is the search results. From the search results, I think the second component is the best one for our purpose. Let me click on that. All right. As you can see, the schematic symbol, PCB footprint, and the 3D model have been provided. This is the schematic symbol. Let me click on the PCB footprint. This one. And 
the price in the Mauser distributor has been provided. So if I click here, it will direct me to the component page in the Mauser distributor. And there we go. So we are in the component page and different prices for different purchase quantities have been provided. Again, interestingly, all of these services are free. I mean downloading the component libraries, checking the component prices or purchase the component directly from the noun distributors. Really, it's a nice website. Okay, welcome back to the test bench. I have connected a car FM player to the supply uh, that transmits uh, the FM signal at around 92.8 MHz. So I will increase the frequency till I could catch the station. So let me increase the frequency by pressing this button 5, 6, 7, 8. So a full bar graph means a powerful FM station. Let's play the music. Okay, increase the volume. And there we go. Okay friends, don't forget to share and subscribe. Also, give me a big thumbs up. Catch you next time.